Good morning, everyone. Let us begin today with number 604, 604. Oh, let all who thirst, let them come to the water. And let all who have nothing, let them come to the Lord. Without money, without price, why should you pay the price except for the Lord? Oh, and let all who seek, let them come to the water. And let all who have nothing, let them come to the Lord. Without money, without strife, why should you spend your life except for the Lord? And so we begin our celebration by blessing ourselves. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each of you. Amen. Coming into the Lord's presence, we ask for forgiveness and healing, especially for the times when we selfishly only considered ourselves. Lord Jesus, you show us how to search out the lost ones. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you save those who seek you. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, Lord Jesus, you nourish us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Preserve in the midst of your people, we ask, O oh Lord, the spirit with which you filled the Bishop St. Charles Borromeo, that your church may be constantly renewed and by conforming herself to the likeness of Christ, may show his face to the world. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you once disobeyed God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now disobeyed in order that by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience, that he might have mercy upon all. Oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God! How inscrutable are his judgments, and how unsearchable his ways! For who has known the mind of the Lord? or who has been his counselor, or who has given him anything that he may be repaid. For from him and through him and for him are all things. To God be glory forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. But I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. 
I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. Lord, in your great love, answer me. See you, lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. They shall dwell in the land and own it, and the descendants of his servants shall inherit it, and those who love his name shall inhabit it. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees. He said to the host who invited him, When you hold a lunch or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or sisters or your relatives, or your wealthy neighbors, in case they may invite you back and you have repayment. Rather, when you hold a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. Blessed indeed will you be because of their inability to repay you. For you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> My dear friends in Christ, we have all experienced a moment in our lives, or maybe several times, when someone gave us something that we really didn't deserve. It could have been an extravagant gift. It might be somebody who helped us, which was very inconvenient to them, but very meaningful to us. Or it might be some kindness from someone that we really didn't expect could care enough to do something for us. Now, this is what today's gospel is all about. That is what God's mercy is to us. We have done absolutely nothing to deserve it. And we can never repay God for his goodness yet he lavishes his love, his mercy, his compassion on each of us. Now, you know, the flip side of me could say, well, that's wonderful. You're so generous, God, but do you expect me to do, it, to do the same? And you and I know the answer to that, don't we? The answer is yes. Humankind is disobedient from the time of Adam and Eve to you and to me. And today's reading reminds me of that wonderful prayer at the Easter Vigil, the Exalted. It is the song of praise. And one of the lines in there says this, O happy fault! that earned for us so great, so glorious a Redeemer. It calls sin a happy fault. Now, some people get all excited about that. What does it say? St. Ambrose and St. Augustine came up with that phrase, oh, happy fault, our sinfulness, it is because of our sin 
and the sin of all humankind that God sent his only son into our world to redeem us. You and I didn't earn it. There's never, we can never earn God's love. We can never earn his forgiveness, even though many of us think, oh, if I do this and I do that, God has no choice. Well, unfortunately, God doesn't operate that way. That's why to the prophet, God says, my ways and your ways are not the same. And I, I chose, chose the song today. There is nothing that we can bring to have God love us. It is given generously to everyone. And that's a difficult idea itself. We can understand why God would want to love me that way and maybe my friends and the people that we care about. But what about all these other people who do just the opposite of everything that is human? How could God love them? But the fact is, he does. And that's the great gift. We cannot earn it. It's given to us freely out of God's goodness and love. And then St. Paul in today's first reading, and I know Paul is difficult sometimes to understand because we only catch a, a particular phrase in his, but today he talks about, for, for who has known the mind of the Lord? The gift of mercy that God shares with us is irrevocable. We have done nothing to, to earn it, and God offers us his mercy if we only accept it. Here is the, here's the challenge, isn't it? It's there for everyone. But there is no guarantee that you or I will accept it. We have to respond. And so our religion is not something that we sit back and say, well, let somebody else do it. Well, maybe not today, maybe tomorrow. You know, we pick and choose when we want to accept God's gift of love, of compassion, of forgiveness. But when we do accept it, then now he says to us, pay forward. Share it with others. Sometimes we want to say, you know, I just want to have this little world between me and God. It doesn't exist. God is the God of all people. And so we cannot pick and choose and say, well, yeah, I'm going to be merciful. I'm going to say I'm sorry to someone. But we exclude everybody else. If God were to do that, none of us would have a chance, would we? So when we look at God's unbelievable love, it is not dependent on what you and I do, but it is simply to accept it and then to share it with others. That's why those readings today are very important. And notice, you know, Jesus is really upsetting the apple cart. Think about when was the last time you and I invited somebody from the street to our dinner table? You couldn't possibly mean that, Lord, would be our rationale. But just as impossible as that seems, so it isn't impossible for God's mercy to accept each and every one of us, no matter what kind of a sinner I am and you are. And some of us have a difficulty with that because we think we're better than other people. God loves each and every one of us. And then he says, do likewise. That's the challenge. And we're not able to do that except for the fact that we come here and we ask the Lord to be with us and to let us be his hands, his feet, his heart that reaches out to everyone that we meet each day. And no matter how many times we refuse and say, no, you deserve it and you don't deserve it, it doesn't matter. God loves us and he loves them in the same way. So let us be honest, let us be humble, and say, Lord, let your spirit help us see the way that we can demonstrate your love that you share with each of us, with others. And in the Eucharist, Jesus embraces each and every one of us, 
and says, we are one. We are one in the Lord. We are one in God. And his love is always available. But let's pray that we don't say no and say maybe someday. Let it be today and every day of our lives. Jesus is our good shepherd who looks to every of our needs. And so let us hold up our prayers to the Lord who loves us. We pray today for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our Bishop Daniel, for all leaders in our church, to all of us, that we do God's work and that we become a channel of his love and mercy and forgiveness to others. For this we pray to the Lord. For fair-minded national government leaders and for informed citizens, let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the last flock of God's people. For them we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for our children, that we give them the best possible example of loving and caring and forgiving. We pray to the Lord. We pray during this month of November for all the people that the Lord has called to himself, for those who are still waiting for that wholeness in their lives to be united with God for all eternity. We remember the members of the Little Flower Society and their petitions and all of us who bring our own needs and our own people to the Lord. Today we remember also Rene Alcala and Angelina Carrion and all our friends and people that we know that the Lord will share his mercy and forgiveness with all of us, we pray to the Lord. Lord and during this month of November, let us realize that we are the people of God. We are one community. Those of us who are alive and those whom the Lord has called to himself to be with him for all eternity. And with the angels and everybody that God has created, we will eventually enjoy the resurrection that God promises each of us, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for a moment now, let each one of us make his or her private intention. And for all of these intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Loving God, you are the good shepherd that shows us the way to life. Continue to walk with us and always help us realize how special we are in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The offertory collection that we take up is for the upkeep of the shrine. And let us now turn to 434. Four, three, four. O oh Lord, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You got me from the fall, and you lead me in ways everlasting. Lord, you have searched my heart, and you know when I sit and when I stand. Your hand is upon me, protecting me from death, keeping me 
from harm. O Lord, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You got me from the foe, and you lead me in this everlasting. And now, my sisters and brothers, let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, O Lord, upon the offering placed on your altar in commemoration of St. Charles, and grant by the power of this sacrifice that as you made him an attentive pastor, outstanding in the merit of his virtues, so you may make us abound in good fruit by our works, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Borromeo, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answers to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we too say the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her faithful spouse, St. Charles Borromeo, 
with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Therese, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. And may the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Daniel our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family gathered here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, and we ask you to make this, take this moment and remember them by name. Give kindness admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory to Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with each one of you. Amen. Thank you. And now let us reach out and share the peace of Christ with each other. with you. Peace be with you. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ, 
body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. 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 I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even though he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, give us that determination 
which made St. Charles faithful in ministry and fervent in charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And, with and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is now ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Yes, and we greet Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, pray for us. Saint Therese, pray for us. have a wonderful day yet.